Hi, I am Taufik, a software developer. Today, I will show you how to turn any web application into single page application within two minutes after using my jQuery plugin. In my demo, I will apply this plugin to a .NET Core project. Let's download a sample project. I already downloaded the project from this link. Let's run the project. Let's add left navigation bar to this application to look beautiful. After adding sidebar, the application looks like this. Now, if I click any link of this application, you can see that the whole browser is refreshing. Let's submit a form. If I submit any form, the whole browser is still refreshing. Let's click backward and forward button. Results are the same. Let's turn this application into single page application within two minutes. First of all, add my jQuery plugin and all necessary files. Then go to layout.cshtml file and add this plugin at the end of the body tag. Now write jQuery code to call the function of this plugin. This ID selector must match with the parent ID of the render body. Let's modify viewstar.cshtml file. Here, if Ajax request, then the content will not be cached on browser. If not Ajax request, then the master page will be invoked. I am done. Let's run the project and enjoy the magic show. Now, if I click any link of the application, you can see that only render body section is updating. Look at the browser URL. It is updating correctly as well. Let's submit a form. If I submit any form, then only render body section is updating. Let's check backward and forward button. This is the documentation of my plugin. Let's apply first rule. Go to a student's index page. After clicking this create new link, I want to show its content at the bottom of this page. Let's achieve this. Let's write div tag with a specific ID selector. Now write Ajax target attribute inside create new link and put the ID selector here. Let's see the demo. Now if I click create new link, the content will be showed below. Let's submit this form. Row already added to this table. Single page application is responsible for reducing load pressure and load time on both server and client side. Let's prove this. Go to instructor page and click select link. Here, entire render body section is updating. But we want only second table to update. Let's achieve this. Split this action method into three action methods. Let's create underscore index1.cshtml and underscore index2.cshtml file. Let's move second table to the underscore index1.cshtml file. and third table to 
underscore index to dot CSHTML file. Let's specify Ajax target attribute to the select link button. Done. Let's see the demo. Now, if I click select link, only the second table is updating. In this way, we can improve the performance on both server and client side. Let's see the final demo. Go to a student's page. Let's add a student. Row added. Let's update this row. Row updated. Let's delete this row. Row deleted. Now click details link. This table shows all courses of the student. Let's add course to this student. Let's remove course. Go to course page. Let's add multiple courses. and update multiple rows as well. Let's delete courses. Go to instructor page and play with the select link button. Go to department page. Let's add a department. Let's update the record as well. Let's delete it. Let's see everything in one page. Click students and course button. Click instructor button. Now department. Let's add a student. Row added. Let's update this row. Row updated. Let's delete this row. Row deleted. Now click details link. Let's add course to this student. Let's remove course. Go to course page. Let's add multiple courses and update multiple rows as well. Let's delete courses. Play with the select link button. Go to department page. Let's add a department. Let's update the record as well. Let's delete it. Welcome to my course. Turn ASP.NET MVC application into single page application by using my jQuery plugin. Why this course? There are several pain points while working with JavaScript framework like AngularJS, 
React, Vue.js, Knockout.js in a ASP.NET MVC application in order to create single page application. You don't need to write much JavaScript code to make single page application after using my jQuery plugin. I want to show all developer that how easily we can create single page application using my plugin instead of using JavaScript framework. And developer can also use other JavaScript framework side by side. I hope my creative work will minimize developer's effort. Developer needs previous working experience with building .NET code or ASP.NET MVC application for this course because I will apply my plugin in a .NET Core project. Although this plugin can be used in all other web applications where Django, Ruby on Rails, Laravel technology applied. I will download a sample .NET MVC web application of below link. Developer who don't have previous working experience with .NET code will need to learn building this application from the documentation. Let's see the documentation. A student will need to follow this documentation step by step. After that, ready to go. To activate the plugin, modify master page and viewstart.cshtml file. I will show you how easy it is to create a single page application and how single page application can improve the performance both on server and client side. I hope you will enjoy this magic course. I already downloaded the project from this link. Let's run the project. Let's add left navigation bar to this application. Go to layout.cshtml file and comment out the render section. Then add newly modified render section. Let's create navigation.cshtml file. Let's move top navigation bar to the navigation.cshtml file. This is the left navigation bar. Let's add a CSS file for this sidebar. and place it at the end of the head tag. Save all changes and run it. If I click any link of the application, you can see that the whole browser is refreshing. Let's turn this application into single page application. Let's add my jQuery plugin and all necessary files. And place it at the end of the body tag. Let's call the function of this plugin. Now I will modify viewstart.cshtml file. Here, if Ajax request, then view result will not be cached on the browser. If not Ajax request, then master page will be rendered. Let's run the project. Now, if I click any link of the application, you can see that only the render body section is updating. Let's check backward and forward button.
Let's submit create a student form. Here, JavaScript validation on client side is not working. Let's fix this. In a single page application, this render section scripts will not work. It will work only full page refreshing. Let's remove render section scripts and keep these validation scripts as it is. Now, client side validation is working. Let's apply same thing in all other pages. Save all changes. Let's submit create course form. Let's edit the course as well. Let's play with first rule of this plugin. Let's specify ID selector inside Ajax target attribute. Ajax response data is showing here. Let's play with class selector. Let's play with attribute selector. Let's play with element selector. Let's specify Ajax target attribute inside form tag. After submitting this form, Ajax response data will be showed here. Let's play with second rule. Bootstrap model. JavaScript functions.
let's write evil attribute and put the function here. Here and here, hello world text will be showed. Button will be hidden. Model body content will be filled up with Ajax response data. And bootstrap model will be showed up. Let's see. Let's write evil attribute and put the function here. After submitting this form, Ajax response data will be showed here. Form fields of section 1 will be hidden. Bootstrap model will be showed. Let's see. Let's play with third rule. Let's write on click attribute and put the function here. Let's write on submit attribute and put the function here. Before submitting this form, the function will be called. Let's play with fourth rule. Here, bootstrap model. Let's specify model body content as Ajax target selector. Let's specify data target with model selector. Now, 
Ajax response data will be showed inside model window. Let's play with fifth rule. Let's specify stop Ajax class inside anchor link and inside form tag. The whole browser is refreshing. Go to instructor page. This is the instructor table. If I click select link, we can see both instructor and course table. Here we want to get only course table, not to get instructor table as it's already present in the page. Let's achieve this. First of all, create two action method. Let's move course table query to underscore index one method and student table query to underscore index two method. Let's create underscore index one dot CSS TML and underscore index two dot CSS TML file. Let's move course table to underscore index one dot CSS TML file. and move student table to underscore index 2 dot css tml file this is the documentation of my plugin let's apply first option let's write div tag with a specific ID selector and Ajax target attribute inside select link and put the ID here. Let's write div tag with a specific ID selector and Ajax target attribute inside select link and put the ID here let's see the demo now if i click select link then only course table is updating In this way, we can reduce load pressure and load time on both server and client side. If I click select link, the selected row color is not changing. Let's fix this. I will apply second option from my document.
let's create JavaScript function. Let's write eval attribute inside select link. And put the function here. Let's write eval attribute inside select link and put the function here. Let's see the demo. If I click select link, the selected row color is changing. Go to a student page. If I click any link of this page, I want to show the content at the end of this page. Let's achieve this. Let's write div tag with a specific id selector and specify ajax target attribute inside all link and put the id selector Let's see the demo. If I click any link, the content is showing below. Let's add a student. Let's edit a student. If I submit this form to add a student, we should not refresh the whole student table. Rather, we should add only the row. Let's achieve this. Let's create underscore index.cshtml file. And copy the table body from index.cshtml file. Let's update redirection of create action method. Let's create JavaScript function. Let's specify eval attribute inside the form tag.
Let's see the demo. If I submit the form, the row will be added to the table. Let's edit the row. Here, the table is refreshing. Let's first implement active row selection color. Now, if I click any link, the active row color is showing. Let's create JavaScript function. and specify evil attribute inside form. Let's update edit action method. Done. If I submit the form, only a specific row is updating. Let's delete a specific row. Here, the table is refreshing. But we want to delete only single row. Let's create JavaScript function. and specify evil attribute inside form tag and put the function here. Let's modify delete method. Done. If I submit the form, the row will be deleted. Let's add model link button to the right corner to show courses.
let's add bootstrap model in layout.cshtml file let's create action method to show rest of the courses let's create view for this action method let's see the demo if i click the model button we can see rest of the courses if i click add button i want the course to be added to the table let's achieve this let's create underscore details dot cshtml file and copy body content from details.cshtml file let's add javascript function and add evil attribute inside add button let's implement action method for this add button done if i click add then the course will be added to the following table let's implement cancel button add a javascript function and write evil attribute inside x button and specify the function here create a action method to delete associated student course done now if i click the x button the course will be deleted If I click create new link, I want to show the form below the table. Let's achieve this.
let's create underscore create action method and let's create a view for this method this is the create course form fields let's write form tag for underscore create action method and place a table body with a specific id inside form tag here form fields will be placed let's specify ajax target attribute Let's create a JavaScript function. Let's specify evil attribute inside create new link and put the function here. Let's see the demo. If I click create new link, the form will be showed below. If I click X button, I want the row to be deleted. Let's implement it. Let's write jQuery code to implement X button. Now, if I click X button, the row will be deleted. Let's implement form submission. Let's create HTTP post underscore create action method to add multiple records. Let's create underscore index.cshtml file. And cut the table body content from index.cshtml file. Let's write id attribute inside tbody. Let's write javascript function to add rows to the table. and specify evil attribute inside form tag and ajax target attribute let's see the demo if i submit the form the records will be added to the course table let's implement to edit the row let's modify edit action method let's create underscore edit dot cshtml file this is the form to update a row let's create javascript function and specify evil attribute inside edit link and put the function here let's see the demo if i click edit link editable form appeared let's implement update button let's modify edit post action method let's specify evil attribute inside form and place the function here done 
if I click update button, the row will be updated. Let's implement to delete the row. Let's modify delete action method. Let's create JavaScript function to delete row. And specify evil attribute inside delete link and put the function here. Done. If I click delete link, the row will be deleted. Go to department page. If I click any link of this page, I want to show its content inside model window. Let's achieve this. Let's replace all link with model link button. Let's specify data target and Ajax target attribute inside each link. Here, global model from layout.cshtml file will be invoked. Let's place everything inside model body. Done. Now, if I click any link of this page, the content will be showed inside model window. Click create new link. Let's implement to add department. Let's modify create action method. Let's create underscore index.cshtml file. And copy the table body row from index.cshtml file. Let's write JavaScript function to add department. Tbody ID. And specify eval attribute inside form tag. Let's see the demo. If I submit this form, the row will be added to department table. Let's implement edit form. Let's modify edit action method. Let's specify a class inside edit link. Let's write jQuery code to track the table row.
let's create a JavaScript function to edit a row. And specify eval attribute inside form tag. Done. Now, if I submit this form, the row will be edited. Let's implement to delete a department. Let's create action method for this delete link. Let's write JavaScript confirmation function. And place it inside on click attribute of delete link. Let's create JavaScript function to delete row and specify eval attribute inside delete link and put the function here. Done. Now if I click delete link, the JavaScript confirmation dialog pops up. And if I click OK button, then the row will be deleted. Let's see everything in one page. Let's create a controller. And a view. Go to index view. Let's create a student and course. Let's write navigation tab panel for a student and course. And jQuery code to hide and show the navigation panel. Let's see the demo. Let's specify action link and Ajax target. Let's see the demo again. Let's write two div tags and instructor and department button. Let's specify Ajax target attribute. Let's see the demo. Let's install .NET Core from this documentation. My Ubuntu version. Let's run this command. Now, .NET Core will be installed. Let's change the directory to our main project. This is the project.
let's run the application. Let's see in web browser. Let's play with the application. This is our cross-platform single page app. If I click any link of this application, you can see that the whole browser is refreshing. Let's submit a form. If I submit any form, the whole browser is still refreshing. Let's click backward and forward button. Results are the same. Let's turn this application into single page application within two minutes. First of all, Add this plugin at the end of the body tag. Now write jQuery code to call the function of this plugin. This ID selector must match with the parent ID of the render body. Let's modify viewstar.cshtml file. Here, if Ajax request, then the content will not be cached on browser. If not Ajax request, then the master page will be invoked. I am done. Let's enjoy the magic show. Now, if I click any link of the application, you can see that only render body section is updating. Look at the browser URL. It is updating correctly as well. Let's submit a form. If I submit any form, then only render body section is updating. Let's check backward and forward button. Hi, I am Tofik, a software developer. Today, I will show you how to turn any web application into single page application within two minutes after using my jQuery plugin. In my demo, I will apply this plugin to a Python design project. Let's download a sample project. I already downloaded the project from this link. Let's run the project. Let's log in and password is pass1234. The whole browser is refreshing if you click any link or submit any form. Let's submit this form. The browser is refreshing. Now clicking backward and forward button and still refreshing. Let's turn this application into single page application within two minutes. Create a folder spa and copy all necessary files of the plugin and place it inside this folder. Copy tofik.py file and place along with other .py files. Here this function will always be called and 
this middleware function is responsible to set response header. Let's register this in settings.py file of the project. Now specifying context processor to add variable with the context. Let's specify my custom middleware class. Now specify templates path. Identifying the master page. Here base.html is the master page. Here if not Ajax request then master page content will be invoked. If Ajax request then only body section will be rendered. Wrap block body section with a specific ID. Now place my plugin source file at the end of the body tag. Now call the plugin source inside document ready state. Let's run the project. Now refresh the whole browser to load the plugin. The whole browser is not refreshing if you click any link or submit any form. Submit this form. Only partial portion is updating. Search through song title. Click backward and forward button to ensure. Let's see the final demo. Clicking Viber, don't have access, click register, click here, let's log in, giving the username, the password, pass1234, let's submit, okay, here is the website, clicking left bar, toggle, here is the left bar, clicking any link, Click albums. Let's click add album. Let's add a album. Give a title. General. Let's submit. Need to provide an image. Let's select. Let's submit. Here the album already added. Let's click album list. Let's click star icon to select as a favorite. Let's click view details. Let's click add new song. Try to submit. Here is validation error. Let's write title. Need to provide a song. Let's select this song. Let's submit. Song already added. Let's add song through this model window. Giving a title. Validation error. Let's select a song. Any file you can select. Let's submit. Already added. Let's minimize the window. View all. You can select the favorite. Let's delete this song from this list. Already deleted. Let's delete again. Deleted. Let's see albums. Let's delete this album. Deleted. Let's click songs. 
favorite songs let's see all song and playing with the favorite list let's here we can see the favorite already changed here is the song let's click backward and forward button updating as expected let's play a song you can download the song let's search the song through the song title here is the list of the song let's find out exact song let's click backward let's search searching the whole song let's log out login again pass one two three four submit click songs this is the complete website hi i am tofik a software developer today i will show you how to turn any web application into single page application within two minutes after using my jquery plugin in my demo i will apply this plugin to a ruby on rails project I just downloaded a sample Ruby on Rails project from this link. You can learn this building this application from this YouTube video. Open in Visual Studio Code. Let's mm, run this project. Uh, login. Here is the left sidebar I already added and let's click account if i click any link the whole browser is refreshing uh, let's submit this form let's submit the whole browser is refreshing let's edit let's update this title updated let's turn this application into single page application within two minutes let's create a folder spa under assets folder and explore this folder expand spa folder here is my all source files let's specify tofik ilahi spa let's go to application.css file Tofikilahi spa dot CSS file will be called from this file. Now go to master page application dot HTML dot HTML file. If Ajax request, then we'll do something, and if not Ajax request, then whole portion of this master page will be invoked. Let's scroll down, copy this yield and flash section and paste it in this if condition scrolling down need to call our plugin when the document is ready this uh, plugin will be called here tofik is pa the function already mentioned in the plugin let's copy this tofik ilahi id and paste it here so yield and flash section is wrapped inside tofik ilahi id let's run the project and enjoy the magic show refresh the whole browser to load the plugin now if i click any link only the partial portion is updating new pin pins 
let's click new pin and submit this form select a image now title description let's submit only partial portion is updating like this page edit backward button only partial portion is updating let's update this pin information submit already reflected let's delete this account let's check backward and forward button so only partial portion is updating and rest of the portion is uh, static and is not changing so it's helpful for faster browsing experience it will increase the performance so here i am shrinking and everything is fine let's see the final demo click sign up let's click login let's click forget your password let's click sign in login here is the pinterest clicking toggle here is my left bar click pins clicking account let's create a pin selecting an image let's give a title new pin one let's give a description let's submit already created let's close this let's like edit this pin the form is showing below let's update this pin we are updating the title let's submit title already updated let's click new pin here is the model window let's create a pin through model window giving a title description let's create already created here you can see let's click edit let's update this as well title already updated let's click backward button let's click forward button so everything is working let's click pins let's delete already deleted the pin here is the pin model window let's click pin board model pops up let's delete let's cancel it will not be deleted let's click ok pin already deleted from the pin list let's sign out 
sign up with new user let's give a new email giving a password again the same password sign up let's view the pin let's like this let's view this pin and edit this one let's sign out and sign in with another user click this pin let's like this like already updated two user like this pin hi i am tofik a software developer today i will show you how to turn any web application into single page application within two minutes after using my jquery plugin in my demo i will apply this plugin to a node.js express project if i click any link of this application you can see that the whole browser is refreshing if i click new pin the whole browser is refreshing and if i search anything the browser is still refreshing let's click new pin and try to submit this form let's give title description and select an image if i submit this form the whole browser is refreshing you can see that even if i delete this pin the browser refreshing if i click backward and forward button the results are the same so let's turn this application into a single page application within two minutes first of all need to create a folder uh, spa you can give this name and place all my jquery plugin source file here let's open in explorer go to this directory here need to place my plugin source files need to find out my plugin source spa these are the files let's copy all this file paste it here so this file you will get from this course let's add few functionality in the middleware app.use and the callback function this function will work in every time before going to a function so this will be invoked every time next so that it can pass after executing so here i am declaring that locals global variable ajax this can be accessed from anywhere and the ajax i am specifying request.xasr the if true or false that means if ajax request then true otherwise false and here i am specifying response set header to set the header location and the header name is location and the value is url go to layout.ajax file here i am writing few if else condition here if ajax we will get this value from the server then do something and else to show the rest of the content percentage 
so cut this portion and paste it at the end of this file now wrap this body render body section with div tag and give an id tofik ilahi first of all let's copy this render body and place it inside if condition if ajax request only that time the render body section will be invoked and if not then rest of the html tag element will be invoked let's copy this script and link section here this is jquery slim we need jquery plugin this is jquery cdn need to copy this portion and paste it here just replace it let's copy this portion script and link and paste it at the bottom of this div place it here here we need to specify my plugin jquery file the plugin here is pa slash tofik ilahi is pa dot js let's copy this portion of the source file and place it inside href and the extension will be dot css this is the css file let's write jquery code this is the jquery document ready state here we need to call the function of this plugin so copy this id and this id selector we need to specify with the function of my plugin so my function is tofik is pa that's it so we are done this will be invoked from this plugin let's see the demo refresh okay first of all need to copy this entire script and place it here because integrity will not work with this version and crossword is in anonymous okay we are done let's refresh the whole page now if i click any link you can see that only partial section is updating and the url is updating also if i search this is working as well let's submit this form description choose a image if i submit this form only partial portion is updating if i delete only partial portion updated if i click new pin save pins everything is working if i click backward and forward button the render section the updating as well and the url portion is updating correctly let's see the final demo of this project click new pin save pins pins details page is saved check save pins you can see this new pin let's submit this form description username let's choose an image submit scrolling down already added let's delete 
delete this one so all pin organized nicely let's let's edit this pin so edited let's search this pin list let's five so the title contents with five already displayed let's click backward and forward button so everything is working as expected pins save pins close this left panel scrolling down